Good morning guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today is gonna be, I'm manifesting a productive day today because yesterday it was a little bit of a, I went out, I did some shopping, had a day out with my mum, had a lovely day, but did I do any work? No, Mondays are normally my working days. However, this week I actually have Tuesday off of work. As you guys know, I normally work Tuesday to Thursday, but I had an extra day holiday that I needed to take before I just lost it, and today is that day. And I have no other plans apart from going to the gym and filming eight hair videos, which maybe doesn't sound like a lot, but I've never filmed eight in a day. And sometimes I get a little bit overwhelmed with doing hair videos because sometimes they just like do not work and yeah, it can be quite an overwhelming thing. But I have faith that the hairstyles I am going to do, I can do, and we will do them. And we're gonna have a lovely productive day. I went to the gym this morning with my mum. It is currently 8.13. I'm having my cup of coffee to get me started for the day. I'm so prepared. I like screenshot the inspo for the hair and I've got it all in a document ready to go. But the to-do list for the day is gym, vlog, film hairstyles, I wanna have a little bit of a glow up today as well. I'm feeling not so great. And yesterday I fake tanned my hands because I've been washing them. So sometimes my fake tan will fade really quick. Um, I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but my right hand is a lot more tan than my left hand. Like it did not, it's <laughs> really bad in person. I'm hoping when I'm doing the hair videos, you're not gonna be able to see the color difference. I think you guys can see. It's not good. I don't know if anyone else can relate, but I find it so hard to warm up after working out. I actually don't know what's wrong with me, but if I've ever been to the gym, if I've been dancing, I get so cold after and I just cannot warm up. But I went for my first dance audition the other day and I know you guys like to hear about the dancer's life. Well, some of you do. I'm not sure if all of you do. And as I said, it was my first audition of the year and it was for an agency, so I wasn't like that bothered about it. I don't know how I feel about dance agencies. Like I've never been represented by one and they obviously help you get auditions. They have contacts, but it was for an agency that I've heard good and bad things for, but I was just desperate to get back into the audition scene because I decided to have a couple months off of it at the end of last year. So you had to apply for the audition and get invited. So I got through to the invited stage, went to the audition on Thursday, got cut at the first round obviously i feel like if i give you guys an update i'm always like i didn't even get to the first callback like just cut straight away i do find it a little bit frustrating when you get invited to an audition and then you get cut at the first round because i just feel like you've seen what i look like you've seen how i dance like i don't know it's just the industry like it is just how the industry goes so i shouldn't be complaining because it's a love-hate relationship I've got with the dancers world because so much of it is based on looks and sometimes I just feel like I waste my time and my money. Normally I don't really mind that much but I had to go up during peak time so my train ticket cost me £40 which isn't cheap but you know it's the stuff we do for things that we love but I do have a couple of auditions coming up. I think I've got a little bit of a break unless anything comes up that's an open call which honestly... I pick my open calls very selectively. Like I won't just go to any of them because the last one that I went to just really, I just did not like at all. And I refuse to get to an audition at 4 a.m. because I know that I won't be performing my best. But then the issue with getting there at like 8 a.m. is people have been queuing up since 4 a.m. and then you don't get seen until 5 p.m. And yeah, it's honestly such a nightmare. I think if I lived in London, it'd be a little bit different. Like you could obviously just pop home. But last time I had to sit in prep for literally eight hours. And then by the time I was in the audition, I was completely just over it. But yeah, I have an audition in March. I have one, I think it's in like June or something. They really advertised it very early and it's for Christmas. I might have one in April. I'll just have to wait and see if I decide to go for that one. So that's all the dancer updates. Nothing too exciting, but I went to my first audition and I'm really happy about it. Obviously not mad about not getting it. It was one of those auditions where it would have been nice to get it purely for the ego. <laughs> like I know that sounds so bad, but having an agent to me isn't really 
the end of the world like it's not much of a loss for me yesterday i was in such a bad mood if you watched last week's vlog you will know it's that time of the month and sometimes i don't know about anyone else but sometimes it just literally kicks my butt like sometimes i'm fine and i can just cope with everything and then some months i'm in a lot of pain i'm very moody it really is such a roller coaster i never know what i'm going to get and yesterday was just one of those days that I was crying in the end once I signed off for the vlog. I was just texting Aiden and I was just getting really upset over just the silliest of things. And I was having really bad cramps all day. So I'm so happy that I'm in a much better mood. Hence why I didn't do any filming yesterday because I just could not bring myself to do it. I also really need to get some more eyebrow lamination stuff. I use the Sassy Saints one and I actually really like it. Like it works really well, but I also need to get a new eyebrow tint because I have none left. And I was using the Eyelaw one, but I think I might go back to the tattoo brow. I don't know if it's Maybelline or Rimmel, can't remember. But it's like a film you basically put on, like you paint it on, then you just peel it off. And I also want to have it so I can take it to Australia so I can top it up whilst we're there so I don't have to be stressed about doing eyebrows all the time. But can you guys believe that we go to Australia in two, two, no, not two months, two and a half months-ish? Oh my god, actually how long? I think it's 75 days today. I currently have a countdown of post-it notes in my wardrobe because I am just so excited. I can't even explain, but I've started to buy things for it. So I bought us some eye masks because we've got long flights ahead of us. I bought disinfectant wipes to obviously wipe down the plane seats because I've been seeing way too many TikToks about actually how disgusting plane seats are. And then I was gonna get sun cream before we go, but I think I might wait until we're actually in Australia to buy the sun cream because I know out there, obviously the sun is so much different, it's so much stronger and I think, if I'm correct, they have better sun cream out there for obvious reasons. And I just know that Aiden is going to burn so badly. He burns all the time. So he's literally going to need, like, factor 100. I also bought us these mosquito bands. I don't know if they're going to work. I just got them from Home Bargains because I thought, you know what, let's just get them. They were $1.99. So I'm slowly but surely getting things ready to go. I honestly don't think I'm buying that many clothes to wear to Australia because firstly, I don't think I need like any dressy outfits. And I feel like over the last couple of years, I've been buying nice clothes for summer holidays and for the summer i just feel like i don't actually need to buy any more i did buy three new bikinis bikinis are the one thing that i'm happy to splurge on happy to buy new ones as long as i feel comfortable in them because i've been feeling so insecure recently and being in a bikini is literally you know the last thing i want to be doing so i told myself i could buy some new bikinis so that i would feel comfortable because the last thing you want to be on holiday is feeling self-conscious when you're trying to have a good time and yeah apart from that i honestly don't think i'm gonna buy much else i might get a couple of like maybe shirts to wear over bikinis because we're doing a couple of boat trips and one thing i've been after for the last couple of years is a new pair of denim shorts because i have one pair from zara that i absolutely love but they're my only pair of nice denim shorts. So I'm on the hunt for another pair because again, I think I'm gonna wear them a lot. But I need to stop talking because my eyebrows are currently two completely different shapes. And I need to concentrate. It's 10.45, I have finished filming my first four hair videos. I'm just stopping for some breakfast. I've got chocolate porridge and strawberries. I'm so excited. I haven't had this probably in like three days, <laughs> but I'm honestly craving it so much. But I think the first four videos went well. There's one hairstyle that I'm like, I don't know if it looks good and i feel like some hairstyles you just never know until you edit back the footage i think the ends of my hair were way too flicky at the end because it was like a i think a sort of bubble braid maybe like a mermaid braid or something but not a mermaid fishtail oh, i don't know there's too many different words for things so i have to see about that one but i'm actually gonna jump in the shower after this which is really annoying because i'm probably gonna wash my face because i want to wash my hair for the next few hairstyles i want to have straight hair for and i would just straighten my hair but i've got loads of product now and i don't want to straighten the product in my hair because i feel like that that could have the potential to fry off my hair but for now i'm focusing on my chocolate porridge sorry let me just get this into boil i'm currently just googling traits of a virgo man of a virgo man yep why? Because that's what Aiden is and he's been so moody and stubborn 
with me. Rudy and Stubborn? Yep. Can we have a look? We're going through the time of the month of the mail though. <laughs> Ooh. I haven't played these completely. That's fine. So no one's going to look. We've now got blinds, guys, in the kitchen. And it's great because they used to be like our neighbours walking past, the postman walking past. But I feel like with blinds, even if they're open, no one's going to look in. They're going to look at the window, but they're not going to like look in because we've made awkward eye contact so many times with people. But for dinner, I'm having fish cakes. I just get plain cod fish cakes, which I know is so boring. But what do you want it to do? I want to get the pan back. I don't make a noise. Just go for it. No, it can. I feel like people normally get like, I feel like Thai green curry fish cakes. But honestly, I'm just a plain fish cake gal. And I'm going to do some air fried veggies. I always see Americans, which is so random, have Brussels sprouts. I feel like Brussels sprouts are just very British. They feel British to me, but Americans always roast them. So I'm going to do that. Got a courgette, got some carrots. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have this for two days. So I have one fish cake today. I don't know, I don't think. No, do you know what? I am actually gonna roast all my veggies so they're done. And then I'll just pop them in the air fryer tomorrow to heat them up. My dinner is looking a little bit worse for my this evening. The presentation is not there, but I've tried the Brussels sprouts and they actually taste really good. They kind of remind me a little bit of kale, or my fish cakes and perronaise. I feel like it looks like a healthy meal with perronaise drizzled over the top. Dinner has been had and earlier on I had a snack of some yogurt and I actually got it all over my tracksuit. Like it was everywhere and I've just noticed it's on my sleeve. I didn't see it, so it hasn't been washed, but luckily this is just going to go into the wash. But look is, who is here. Aiden. Aiden has come back tonight. It was a bit of a last minute decision, but he had a hospital appointment for his knee. So he had to come back and he's going to be up again at like 4.30 tomorrow morning. So that's going to be fun, but we are currently about to email White Fox. If you guys watch my most recent vlogs, then Aiden has been in contact with White Fox since the end December. of December last year about an order he had placed for Christmas and today he got his second email back I don't know <laughs> in, if you it. I saw like it come through and I was like two months it. it's ridiculous and like I've tried to email I've tried to DM and it's really bad because like I've worked with White Fox before and I I mean I'm, I love them. I'm wearing them. I'm wearing their tracksuit. I wear them all the time. But their customer service is so bad. Like honestly it's enough to put me off and then the worst thing is is that if you return something you get store credit and it has to go all the way back to australia so i think you have to pay for it as well but i could be wrong on that but yeah we're we're just still trying to get somewhere with this order which is incorrect and we don't want and we want to return but we need to talk to them because it's such a palaver am i coming on here the next day to end this vlog yes i am because i totally forgot to do it last night but aiden and i literally just chilled together we ended up watching a documentary movie thing on netflix i think it was called like the girl in the picture or something if you're into true crime honestly it was such an unbelievable case so tragic but so many twists and turns i 100 percent recommend that you go and watch it that was basically our evening so gonna sign off now hope you all did enjoy the vlog and i will see you all very soon in a new video bye